Hello. And hello. Welcome back, you guys. This is Digital Don here, and today we are covering one of the most impactful uh, cluster that I'm going to be covering, and that is called STEM. Now, STEM, all right, or the acronym is Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to just keep it 100. STEM is basically the future. Those four things is what's going to keep this planet on its axis. And um, more than ever, there are so many STEM opportunities that you can take advantage of. Now, I will not reveal uh, what school um, I currently work at. This class is going to be a little different. I'm going to show you some video footage of some of the things we did in my school in which um, you can do not only on your own, but you can implement for yourself. You can go to information events. I cannot stress to you guys how important STEM is. STEM is basically engineer. And, uh, well, it's not basically, but engineers fall under the STEM umbrella. And these are the guys that are coming up with new innovative ways to create medicine and new innovative ways to create certain algorithms where you're not hounded by commercials that you don't want to see. These guys are finding out about um, certain medicines without severe side effects that can be um, um, applied in the science. I mean, this program ranges in so many ways, but one of the things that I definitely, 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 100%, if you are good at what you should be, but if you are good at problem solving, this is the area of focus for you. And let me tell you something. Problem solving is one of the number one things I've seen through my kids as well as future generations I can kind of see that we're losing. Yes, technology is beautiful. We, 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 we can do so much. <laughs> without almost any effort these days. Unfortunately, when you don't understand the know-how to the how, what, <laughs> what pretty much ends up happening is you won't be able to get anything done. So when it comes to problem solving, and one of the classes I teach every day is engineering, understanding an issue, going through the problem solving method, doing trial and error, and pretty much getting it to where you have a product that can be used for it and everybody, or let's just say if you want to be selfish, use it for yourself. But we're not talking about being selfish. We're talking about from a planetary standpoint. You know, STEM can take you places that you probably would have never dreamed of. And this is one of the clusters. Um, I mentioned one earlier, uh, but this is another one in which you can literally come straight out of high school, full scholarship, full ride, if you do well in your class. Same thing with college, man. If you are able to test out within the mathematics and science field, if you're able to score high, there is money waiting for you to put you in some of these careers which I'll be covering. You would have never known they would have existed, but this is all under the STEM formation program. And STEM is worldwide now. And it's being implemented more and more and more into our regular everyday system. So, if problem solving, and I'm not saying like, uh, like, okay, there's water coming down, I should probably turn my phone over and that's it. No! Problem solving as in complex algorithms. If you, if, if, if you enjoy the thrill of taking something that did not work, researching about it, and then making it work and then presenting it to the people for an idea, pretty much a possible method to get this thing up and running more efficiently and blah, blah, blah. Me personally, this is, this is your, this is your digital teacher here, your digital professor here. I suggest STEM. I am for STEM. I've seen a lot of results, good results within the youth that I've taught over the years using the STEM will benefit you to the highest 
order, I promise. So for you future engineers or just people who are light years ahead in the math, technological, engineering, and mathematics skills set, this is the cluster for you. So let's take a look at our virtual videos as well as we're going to be taking virtual notes. In this particular um, cluster, there may be more notes than usual, but that's because um, this is kind of a special cluster all within itself. So bear, um, so um, yeah, bear with me, you guys. This is Digital Dice Online. This is Digital Don here. You can get at me, Digital Don underscore CTE on my social medias. So once again, it's your boy. Let's take a look at some video theca. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey! It is Digital Don here, and let's get into our first STEM video. Basically, folks, we're gonna um, look at some old school footage to get a new school mindset. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at STEM for what it is, and we're gonna meet right back here shortly. They keep refrigerators humming and space labs in the sky. People who work in scientific engineering and technical services have a wide range of training and education, yet they share a common talent for problem solving. The challenge might be choosing the right tools to cut a gemstone, figuring out why a cash register is jammed, or developing new ways of refining chemicals or packaging food. Each scientist, engineer, and technician brings knowledge to a problem and works toward a solution. The work can be microscopic. A biological scientist examines the tiniest elements of life to find new ways of treating disease. Our increasingly complex world demands an army of scientists, engineers, and technicians, and their work might take them anywhere in the world in the years ahead. With a breathtaking rate of change and new technological developments flowing constantly from research centers, people in this field must be willing to continually update their education. Many of these jobs require advanced degrees, but the degree and the experience won't be enough. New materials, new equipment, new scientific breakthroughs will require people to rethink how they do the jobs they were trained to perform. So this is a field for people who are excited by challenge and who love to learn. Their work has the potential to change the world and even make it better. All right, so with that being said, um, there is a broader outlook, STEM is bigger and badder than ever. So let's go on ahead and look at um, another video pertaining to this measure and, and um, we'll go from there. Got it? All right. The Deer D Labs are all over the country. They represent every service. They represent every STEM discipline. You can be a biologist, you can be a genomics researcher, you can be a mechanical engineer, you can be a physicist, and work on great projects. I'm an engineering research psychologist, and essentially what I do is a model human cognition. We're looking at sensing bacteria and fuels. I'm a human factors engineer, and I specialize in mathematical psychology. We study the human genome, really the way your DNA turns you into you. I work in the field of satellite communications. I do pattern recognition and data analysis. It's not just, you know, airplane structures, it's airplane structures at speed. I'm very, like, excited about magnetic materials, I love them. But then it also allowed me to kind of branch into the new field of photonics. This really is rocket science that we're doing here. I'm not just working on designing one bolt for one platform, I'm actually working with the entire aircraft itself. We wouldn't be doing the basic research if someone already knew what it was, so we're really pushing the limits and trying to understand what no one has understood so far. We kind of get a taste for everything here, all the way from basic research that you might think of you do at a university, all the way up to an applied system that we put onto a plane or a ship. These labs are only as good as the people that are in them. People who are innovative, creative, and diverse. Diverse groups, 
come to better solutions, faster solutions, more efficient solutions. And so that's what we're looking for as well. They're very supportive. I mean, they have a smart program where you can actually uh, work part-time, go to school full-time. So you get to enjoy your full salary, but you're getting paid to go, go to school. They want you to both succeed at school and professionally. It's kind of like a scholarship, and then you have a guaranteed job there. There's no, no better thing to have a guaranteed job when you come out. You're surrounded by fabulous people who are really just interested in promoting and, and forwarding science in the long run and making a better technology. You can start new projects without a PhD. You can get funding without a PhD. I don't think you'll ever get bored. And if you do get bored, that means you're not looking. The people who invented the internet, invented GPS, were once young themselves and had these crazy ideas and the department supported them. And so we want to do the same for this generation in robotics, in microsatellites, in materials, in cyber. There's really nothing else like it uh, in the world. If you like to solve problems, you can do that. If you want to play with robots and you want to design things as I do, you can do that. I found a job that I can see where it makes a difference. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy working with the people I work with and it just is just amazing. All right, so with that being said, um, there is a broader outlook. STEM is bigger and badder than ever. So let's go on ahead and look at um, another video pertaining to this measure, and, and um, we'll go from there. You got it? All right. Hello, children. It's gonna be Duke Fried. So the coach. What's going on, man? Already. How's it going, man? Yeah. Okay, we'll go and check. Go on, I'm gonna be following you guys. Go. Okay, guys. Oh, it's Alright guys, wait. I didn't know that we're on this page. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Oh, you are so cool. Oh, you're 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 so cool.
I'm looking at you. Very nice, very 
nice, very nice. All right, so let's go on ahead and look at uh, another video by Neil deGrasse Tyson. This is uh, somebody who I've looked up to, very inspirational man, but he's going to give his true takes on on how he feels about STEM and pretty much engineering and science in this country. And let's take a look at uh, pretty much what he had to say. Innovations and creativity in science, engineering, technology, and math will be the drivers of tomorrow's economy. Jobs, 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 jobs. Jobs. That's the word in four letters, jobs. And if you are not a participant on that frontier, you will trail behind it and possibly get left behind entirely. Most American kids opt out of the harder math and science classes, as you know. So I think most people opt out of hard things. And many of those jobs that pay sixty, seventy thousand, eighty thousand dollars you need a lot of calculus. You do. You need math. You do. You need science. And you need physics. Math needs better marketing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Hire a marketing firm or something. There are people who say, I'll never need this math, these trig identities from 10th grade or 11th grade, or maybe you never learned them. Here's, here's the catch. Whether or not you ever again use the math that you learned in school, the act of having learned the math established a wiring in your brain that didn't exist before. And it's the wiring in your brain that makes you the problem solver. Why did you become a scientist? Since age nine, the universe chose me in a first visit to the local planetarium, the Hayden Planetarium in New York City. Ever since then, had you asked me what I want to be when I grow up, that annoying question that adults always ask, I would have said, an astrophysicist. So there's a value to students studying math and science at high levels, even if they don't want to be running the Hayden Planetarium. Even if you don't want to become a scientist, minimum you should ask of yourself, demand of yourself, is that you become scientifically literate. Better yet, scientifically literate and mathematically literate. Why? Because therein are the engines of problem solving in the world. How does that connect to jobs and the bottom line, which is money? Now you're valuable to an employer because companies want to innovate. And the company that, companies that don't innovate, they wither on the vine. So the connection between STEM fields and financial stability of a nation is what needs to be established. That connection somehow is broken. People don't see it. Why don't Americans see it, the connection? Dare I say that maybe we're not trained to think that way. We're trained to think if you do A, then there must be B, cause and effect. You think Americans understand that chain of events? No. Are they starting to? No. You should be educated. And in the education, you should value science, engineering, technology, and math. If you do so, you get to innovate and invent new industries, new economies. If you invent new economies, everybody has jobs tomorrow. That's a chain of events. It's not A equals B. You've got to go through three other variables to get to D. All right. If you guys like to pretty much create stuff in the lab and mix up chemicals and see what cellular structures you can come up with or anything having to do with science and mathematics, well, let's go on ahead and dive into what it takes to become a scientist. So let's take a look at this video and we'll go from there. I am a scientist. I am a scientist. I'm a scientist. Science is all around us. Molecules, our body. Our brain, our heart, our lungs. Even when you don't expect it, there's organisms so small that you can't see with the human eye. Small things become great things. We all are very capable of doing science no matter who we are. Everything from art to cooking to riding a skateboard is science. Getting these kids to redefine science is what we're after. You don't really know something until you've done it hands-on. I like to experiment a lot. Discovering something new and to do it for myself and to understand how it works is just 
a great feeling. So what are you gonna learn about the human body? What's neuroscience? Can you tell me about that? Uh, so you think the study of the brain? Science is almost everything. I wanna know more. None of us really know that where all those basics that we're learning in school are gonna take us. If they get that passion spark, it could lead to something that they don't even know about in the future. When I was younger, I didn't want to be a firefighter or astronaut. I wanted to be a chef. I didn't even know food science existed, but miraculously, I landed an internship at the USDA's Food Board and Contaminants Research Unit. Internships are always the best way to go because you're actually getting experience. I can inspire them because I know they can do the same. Science, technology, engineering, and math are skills that industries today need. Thousands of job students have no idea that they exist. Medical sciences, computer sciences, engineering, architecture, construction. There's this whole world out there. No matter where you go, you'll always find a certain niche for you. We want you to have a career where you can change your life and change your community. I need to do something when I get older that involves biology. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. You know, I like helping people. I hope someday to be a famous scientist. I want to be a vet because I like animals. Maybe some people know what they want to do already. Some people don't. They're still trying to find themselves. It's finding the thing you love and then going for it. STEM! <laughs> Career pathways for STEM, y'all. If you don't know this, my God, but obviously it is science, technology, engineering, math. math. Sorry, but yes, science, technology, engineering, math. Those are the career pathways. Duh! All right, it's in the actual title. So. What you need out of college, all right? Bachelor's of Engineering degree five to six years and sometimes yes five to ten years trade all right of stem two plus years which can span out to ten years and let's just tie in the certification with the trade all right trade 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 folks you can get a trade straight out of high school depending on what your interest is stem is ever growing and it has the most growth all right prepare yourself guys let's get into the schools texas women university auburn university villanova university hawaiian specific university university of agriculture concord university nova southern eastern university southern wiley university Penn university northland university oh my god just read it and pause the video okay okay <laughs> job markets we have 117 careers but we have 132 majors within eight main industries. Now, let me go back to the majors. The reason why that this is so high and it's ever expanding is because STEM is where we see the most growth in this country. Um, growth as in is one of, not the wild cards of all the clusters, but one of the more flexible, all right, where pretty much innovation can pop up and range and spew out many different industries to get a part of stuff like Uber and things of that nature. All right, so pretty much 40,000 um, is the mean, but you have to factor in a lot of these uh, STEM programs are startups, but just like with anything else within the years spent there, you can always work your way up and get close to six figures within this. So STEM is a pretty broad area, but if you get into the right trade and the right path, you'll be able to have a good life, just like within of the other clusters. Bam. All right, all right. We have come to the end of this video. This is Digital Don here. And um, we have 10 other clusters for you guys to discover as well. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some good information from it. You can always reach me at digitaldon underscore CTE on my social medias. I will try to answer any questions as possible. Um, if you guys found any of this stuff interesting as well, you can go to the playlist. You can find a certain career that STEM has to offer and you can go and get the stats. 
get what you need, apply, get that job, and let's make America even better than what it is today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please subscribe if you guys want to see more careers, as well as drop a like um, um, to show support. If you guys dislike, I don't really care about your opinion. I want the people that like this because you obviously care about education. So this is Digital Don here. Love you guys. Thank you for your service. Thank you for tuning in to try to learn something new. We need more people like you. And let's keep this ship going. All right.